Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today, I'm going to show you how I like to use my Shark Flex Style for better results. There's three steps that I like to do, so let's get right into step number one. I like to use the round brush attachment to dry most of my hair. I definitely like to add a serum first just so that I can have some extra shine on my hair. This one's from Function of Beauty. And then I also like to use this Function of Beauty primer. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of that on my hair. Prepping hair before your blowout is key for nice results. So let's divide the hair. So I like to divide my hair into sometimes two sections, but for this video, I'm gonna divide it in four sections. So I'm gonna do right down the middle and then divide it in two sections. So I clip this section, and then I'll do the same on this side, and then I'll clip these two sections as well. Okay, so I have my four sections, now I'm going to start drying my hair. So I'm just gonna bring one of these down. So now I'm gonna take just a small section from any of these bottom sections, and I'm gonna take the rest and clip it up. So I'm going to start drying this small section with my round brush attachment i put this in the highest heat setting and highest speed you can either use this round brush attachment or the paddle brush attachment whichever works best for you but yeah i'm just going to continue drying all my hair until my hair is completely dry and i am going to try my best to get the smoothest blowout possible with this round brush but I am going to touch it up later with another attachment that I have. So now that I dried most of my hair, I'm gonna smooth out my roots with the nozzle attachment. As you can see, my roots are like a little bit wavy. So I definitely wanna work on the roots a little bit now. I am going to use this big round brush from Amazon and this small one. Um, I think it's also from Amazon. I'm gonna link these down below. So I like to divide my hair in a couple of different sections. As you can see right here, I still have a little bit of waves, so I need to get that a little bit more flat with the nozzle attachment. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I feel like the big round brush is good, but it is a little bit hard to get in the roots with this and get a very smooth look. So with the round brush, I'm going to try and smooth out my hair a little bit more. I love that the Shark Flex style brings a nozzle attachment, so you're able to use this to dry your hair as well with a round brush i think that is super cool because that way you can choose which type of round brush you want to use on your hair and also what size you want to use because i know some people love to use a smaller one for the edges or even just like a smaller brush for the bangs and then maybe a bigger one for the rest of the hair so just having one option can be a little bit hard sometimes because you do want to be able to get every little section of your hair and i feel like this is perfect for that using the nozzle attachment and a different round brush is key so definitely try this if you want smoother results with your flex style so you can definitely see that my hair is a little bit more smooth now and the roots look way better than before because i was able to really get in there with the round brush and the nozzle attachment so yeah definitely try this trick it is a game changer i'm gonna finish this section and then we'll move on to the next step okay so now that my hair looks a lot more smooth the roots look better the edges look a lot better it doesn't look as wavy as before i am going to move on to the next step so for this step i'm actually going to curl my hair so i'm going to use the curling barrels this is a 1.25 inch barrel so it's going to give you a tight curl but not as tight as a one inch but i prefer this size 100 percent so i'm going to divide my hair what i like to do every time i curl my hair is clip them and let them set for a couple of minutes i usually let them set for about 30 minutes if i can let them set for more even better but i'm going to divide my hair right in the middle and i'm actually curling away from my face i take pretty small sections and i like that this does the kwanzaa effect so it is going to curl your hair for you and it's going to be a lot easier to use this is very similar to the dyson arab but i honestly feel like this one is even better i like it more just because of all the attachments that this has i love that this has a round brush attachment it has curling barrels 
It also has a diffuser attachment if you want to include that in your kit. You can also put a wide tooth comb attachment in there. So you can build your own bundle online. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link that down below. And it also brings a nozzle attachment, which I just used. And you can see how much more smooth my hair looks and how necessary that is in this kit. So if you want to grab the nozzle attachment, definitely recommend doing that because you can use it for so many things you can use it for your edges you can also use it to blow out all your hair even if you want it from wet hair with another round brush so yeah i just really really love this hair tool it is so nice but yeah here i am curling all my hair i'm just curling away from my face and you guys will see at the end that i am going to clip my hair and then i'm gonna let it set for about 30 minutes and i'll be back once i have everything clipped and set for a little and i'll show you guys what the curls look like after i take them out okay so i let these set for 30 minutes and i'm gonna start taking them off as you can see i have a little bit of a curl i love the curls that i get with the 1.25 inch curling barrel i feel like it gives me very tight curls but they're not like extremely tight they're not like quinceanera curls it literally looks just like the dyson arab curls but at half the price or even more <laughs> so yeah i think the shark flex style is so worth it so now i'm gonna add a little bit of oil to my hair just a tiny bit and i'm gonna just loosen up the curls a little bit so yeah guys this is the final look and this is how i use my shark flex style i feel like this is the routine that works the best for my hair type i have about 3b curls and my roots get very very curly so i definitely love that nozzle attachment hack and just being able to use that to smooth out the roots a little bit more as you can see my roots are definitely a lot more smooth but i still have so much bounce on the ends so i love how this works on my hair i love the shark flex style i think it is so worth it i really feel like it's worth every single penny so if you're thinking about getting it i think you should totally get it i'm thinking about cutting my bangs a little bit shorter what do you guys think should i cut it just a tiny bit let me know in the comments down below i'm thinking about doing it myself <laughs> So if you guys want to see that, even just a TikTok, let me know and I can totally try it and see how it goes. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you also do this routine at home and your thoughts. Let me know if you like it, if it works for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.